Okay, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video of gaming in Linux. This time round, I'm trying uh, trying an emulator for the PSP, the first PSP that is. And as you can see, it's called PPSSPP. And this is here is a simple way to just install a game. Um, the source of the website is IT World, and using uh, Noobs Labs. Uh, which is what I use, and it's, it seems to be quite genuine and works well. As you can see, these guys more at News Labs. It's these guys here. So thank you very much to these guys uh, for their simple way of installing the PSP simulator. Uh, emulator, derp, not a simulator. <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave the link to this uh, site in the description or to News Labs, and I'll also leave the repositories and stuff. But as you can see, this is the result here. Uh, here is my PSP emulator. You can easily get games there, as you can see, and here they are. Uh, one, after I've ran them, they've gone on to recent, uh, so they're easily accessible. Uh, and it, it all is is a click, and the D should be working. As you can see, there is an on screen uh, little. Oh God. I keep breaking them, so I'm sorry. My commentary isn't very good today. As you can hear the sound as well, so the sound's working fine. But uh, yeah, on-screen buttons uh, are there. I don't, I don't remember how I did it. If, if it lets me go into settings, which it doesn't seem to be, <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing. It's not letting me. Uh, um, God damn it! It's not actually letting me go into the settings. Uh, what I'll do is restart the actual thing, so if I start up there, usually escape allows you to go on it, but here are my settings here, so you can go on graphics, uh, you can change a lot of stuff, but a lot of the things seem to, you know, they, they work fine anyway. I, I, oh, look at that. So I can show uh, FPS camera, that's good, I want that. Uh, I've changed the controls here, so I've made it so everything works fine, so WASD is the analog, uh, my num keys are the up, down, d-pad and stuff, and my arrow keys are the circle, x, square and triangle, uh, go back, go back, uh, if I go on, uh, yeah, on screen touch controls, boop, in case it ever messes up for the thing, you can edit them so you can uh, resize them, sort of massive, and uh, yeah, so I try and keep them out of the way, so they're just, yeah, so they're just there uh, really. Um, I don't think I really need them anymore because I've set the keys right, but yeah, that's in case you don't want to use your um, anything else, basically. Alright, uh, anything else I need to show? Yeah, I tried using um, a PS3 controller. It didn't work. It failed badly. I looked into it a little bit and it seems that it's, it, it just doesn't work anyway, so... Yeah, that sort of sucks, but... I guess that's uh, we'll live without the uh, without the PS3 controller for now. Whilst I'm using keys which work for me, obviously you can set them to anything you want. I mean, so anything that's comfortable to you, really. <laughs> obviously, you don't use the uh, the D-pad that much, so you can set it to uh, wherever you want. That's out of the way, basically. Some games do tend to use it like shooters for picking weapons and stuff. As you can see, my FPS is very good. I'm getting about 60 FPS. Uh, constant. I mean, it's running pretty awesome as well. Uh, you can't make it any bigger, the, the screen I don't think, because obviously that is the size of a PSP. Uh, saying that, a PSP is probably smaller than that. Um, hopefully I don't get my ass kicked. I, I, I do know my martial law. I know his moveset a little bit. So <laughs> hopefully I don't get my ass kicked too hard. Yay, buddy! But yeah, I'm... Um, I, I used to own a PSP, I actually got rid of it not too long ago um, because I now own a PS Vita, uh, which is awesome, My I love my PS Vita, uh, but in case I ever want to use play v PSP games, I now have an emulator, or if I really want I can just buy them on my Vita, as a lot of games are on a Vita for, for the PSP. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm confusing myself with what I'm saying. But I think most of the games do tend to work. I've, I've tried a couple. Uh, I tried Metal Gear Solid, as you can see before. Uh, it was on my recent games. And uh, that didn't seem to work that well. My font was missing on it and stuff. But that's expected from emulators. Not every single game will work. Um, don't expect that either. But it's just fantastic to have the, the PSP emulator running. I mean, I, di I didn't even know they had one until the other day. I think I decided to check it out. And it was just like, alright, so there is now a PSP emulator. 
Uh, it doesn't surprise me that there was one because it was so easy to hack the uh, the, the first PSP. I mean, my my PSP was hacked. Um, I know a lot of people don't agree with hacking your consoles just to download games and stuff, but uh, at the time I was quite young and didn't have a job, or <laughs> you know my parents were weren't the richest, so couldn't give me money for games and etc. etc. So um, I thought it was a brilliant idea to hack my PSP and download games at, at will. Uh, I genuinely didn't think the PSP games weren't worth the money because they were like thirty pound a, a game, and I was just like, it's not worth that. I mean. A lot of the games aren't that good and stuff, so... But yeah, such games as Tekken 6 are awesome. Um, I, if I did have money at the time, I would have put... Uh, I would have set money aside for certain games like this, and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and God of War on the PSP. But, uh, you know, a couple of games I did buy and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, just letting you into a bit of my hacking life. <laughs> um... But yeah, I know a lot of people disagree with that sort of thing. Fair enough to them, I guess. Uh, not everybody's rich. <laughs> but I buy uh, most of my games nowadays anyway, so there's nothing to complain about. But um, yeah, Battle 4, I may as well show you a different game. Uh, for some reason, I don't know how to go back. I mean, Escape was working before, so... Uh, <laughs> for some reason, it's not. So if I just close that and run it again... As you can see, there's my games there. There's God of War, so may as well start that up to show you another game running. But yeah, I also think emulators are a brilliant idea in case you still have that console and you you decide you want to try a game to see whether it's it, it is actually worth buying. You know, a lot of games you tend to go out and buy and then you're just like, this is not worth the money. I wish I didn't buy it. <laughs> uh, a lot of games can be like that, and it's it's. Like one of the worst feelings ever, realizing you bought a game you will not play. As you can see, this game runs in 30 FPS. Tekken 6 ran great in 60 FPS. Uh, I'm guessing that's what the actual game is set to, so you can't obviously change that. Uh, I'm gonna ch look into another couple of simulators, see if uh, uh, emulators, see if there's a Vita emulator. I highly doubt that. Um, I need to try and get the PS2 emulator working. I've never had success with that. I've always struggled to actually get it working. Um, I don't know if I've made a PS1 emulator video, but th I know I've had a lot of them working in the past, and I've actually had my proper PS1 games like. Oh, hooked into my CD-ROM and actually working great from that. I mean, emulators are fantastic, really. I I, I do really like them. Um, I liked my Game Boy Advance emulator because it still uh, same applies for the games being so overpriced. You you buy a game for thirty quid. Uh, I thought the only games at the time that were worth putting money into were uh, Pokemon and. You know, all the Pokemon games really. I did actually buy them. They were fantastic and still are brilliant. I'm, I still play Pokemon X on my my 3DS. But yeah, these two games I've tried. I do, uh, I do definitely suggest buying them if you do actually have a PSP. I, I mean, if I were to buy, if I was to go back and choose games to buy, I would get these two games. Like actually spend money on them but oh well I'm such a pirate god damn it oh the game the, the, it's the cutscenes that were actually 30 FPS it seems that the actual in game seems to be a bit smoother as you can see there's a little bit of uh, latency issues a, a bit of lag here and uh, that will be to do with the emulator Yeah, it's it's not running perfect this game, so it's good it's good to just show a game that doesn't run amazingly, but it still does run. It's similar to Wine, like you know, emulators are you, you, a game sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, as you can see, it's still playable, so it's pretty awesome. You can play your PSP games because there was some very very good PSP games. For example, the one I'm playing now, and it. 
Like, if you haven't played God of War yet, then Jesus, you're missing such a good series. I mean, this this so awesome. Like some of the boss battles as well. Um, I forgot how you dodge. Is it like R or something? Yes, it's not letting me do it yet or something. But yeah, it's very strange using the keyboard for a PSB game. I was hopefully, I, w I wish the controls would work. Kick open that door. Oh, but Jesus. I'll hold in L, press circle. Oh no. I'm just gonna punch your head in. I'm sorry, bro. Ow! Ow. But yeah, I think that's enough anyway for this simulator. Uh, <laughs> it is not a simulator, Jake! It is not a PSP simulator! <laughs> Or a goat simulator, or a bear simulator. But yeah, I think uh, that's awesome. Uh, I suggest going ahead and getting this if you like your PSB games. It's very simple to get working, it's great, you just install it and it's ready <coughs> to run if you have the games. Which is awesome. Emulators like that are brilliant. I mean, I always had troubles getting the PS1 emulator and PS2 emulators working because you always had plugins that you had to change about and stuff, and it would just hassle. Whereas this is just straight out of the box sort of stuff, and it works straight away. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, for guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, rate and subscribe for future content. And peace out. See you later.